gold bars, a new car, and a U.S. Senator's giant hoard of cash. That magic New Jersey combo is why I've been schlepping to Manhattan to cover the federal corruption trial of Senator Bob Menendez. The senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes. However, the allegations leveled against me are just that, allegations. In a New York courtroom, jurors have been getting like a Zillow-style tour of the senator's home. They're passing around gold bars like it's show and tell. Too late for this, sir. Prosecutors call Menendez a senator on the take, who took bribes from a couple Jersey businessmen also accused of crimes. Real Sopranos mid-season subplot kind of vibes. Want a criminal investigation to go away? Need some help in Washington with your meat export business? Call Bob, basically. The senator denies all of this. He says he's just a guy with a lot of friends, some of whom happen to have a lot of money. Prosecutors get it wrong sometimes. This trial's going on right across the street from Donald Trump's hush money case. Lucky for Bob, that's drawn away a lot of the TV cameras. But there are no cameras inside federal court, so I've been busting from Jersey to be your eyes and ears. And folks, I have seen a lot of cash. Cash in bags, cash in boxes, cash in coats, cash in a pair of Timberland boots. This Burberry bag right here, that's what $100,000 in a sack looks like. The FBI seized $486,461 in cash from his home, plus 13 gold bars. Of course, it's not a crime to hide half a million dollars around your house when the FBI comes knocking. A little sketchy, sure, but not a crime. Bob's lawyers pin the gold bars on his wife, who's been tried separately. As for the cash, the senator says he can explain. For 30 years, I have withdrawn thousands of dollars in cash from my personal savings account, which I have kept for emergencies and because of the history of my family facing confiscation in Cuba. Now the question will be whether the jury will buy that explanation. And I will be a bus commuter till we find out.